Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen run where I'm showcasing how to play the game on the hardest difficulty and trying to achieve a flawless run as in no soldiers lost, no mission lost and um, if possible flawlessing every single mission so not even getting hit effectively. So, time for us to go into a supply raid. Operation Bone Chalice, uh, Chalice is at our door. Got a second, a nice little mimic beacon thanks to the many, many um, faceless ones that we have encountered. And I figured might as well just uh, go with the flow. Got two blue screen rounds. Uh, got this here. Or skull check in case we're running into an advent officer and really the rest is history got a got a frost grenade just in case the uh, viper king shows up they tend to be on supply missions quite a bit uh, which is fine i don't uh, i don't mind but finishing him would be great good High ground, uh, this here is very much the edge of the map. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, uh, how about, first of all, moving here. Seeing nothing, then moving here. I saw something down here. Lots of hit points, could be a specter. Um, yeah, let's take the high ground. Getting it done. Reaper uh, um, skirmisher is on the low ground. On the other hand, mainly because we can pull ourselves up to the high ground. Oh, our first archon. Interesting. But these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Moves to here, great. Moves to there, good. Turret, I see how it is. Understood. Moving out. But we don't want them to climb up here. Matter of fact, this could be a good start. Double hit. Ooh, this doesn't look great. Hate to use uh, that teamwork ability like it, but... Yeah, let's just get out of uh, that area. Looks like it could be collapsing any minute. Already there. Hmm. Moving to designated position. But that's far enough away from the collapsing. They are clustering around another explosive, which we can re very much remote start. The Advent Captain would serve our purposes nicely, if it can be disabled. Moving out. 
There's more burning happening now downstairs. Can't just let that happen. None of the windows, uh, none of the windows are open. Moves back. We're just in a poor position overall uh, due to the explosion. All right, sitting over there. Look, and normally I would not really care all the way too much, but given that a single point of damage already would uh, ruin the flawless streak that we have so far, I feel that this here is worth taking its time. Can't stay here, but we very much can move over here and then move to the front. I want another remote start. These guys are aggressively pushing forward. Wow. Good, that's a nice little hit. And we're reloading. Watch closely. And it's one five. Watch those supply crates. If you destroy them, there won't be anything left for us to recover once the area is secure. Okay. Fair enough. We flop a grenade down there. New. But we could start engaging now. I think it was enough time. Good, that will break concealment. They're on to us. They all only see him, so they will act accordingly. Dodge this one. Interesting. All right, gonna go and take this guy out. 
That'll spawn a codex. Let's get the Sun Lancer down first. Good, we got we got blue screen rounds loaded on the skirmisher. is active I don't like that because we would definitely be hit yeah let's get out of uh, sight of uh, the turret. This will trigger a psionic bomb. I am already regretting uh, the stupid psionic bomb. The but codex appears to be in a state of flux, existing simultaneously across multiple dimensions. Do we have a flash bang? A frost bomb. Not exactly a flash bang. With flash bang, we could um, prevent it from cloning. This also will prevent it from cloning simply because it only had one hit point left. Teamwork just to get that codex down. I don't want another round of stupid problems with it. ground My life is ghost moves up an alien of course there is another alien patrol pull themselves I'll take the high road. yeah surprised right who would have guessed someone was here
Because this will not reveal the Reaper. But it will give us a free shot. Two, four, six, eight, kill, and death from above. Trigger. Good, next up, let's just get rid of the tree, which is a problem. Death from above is a perfect option to do that. Now, on that note, we're moving up. Killing the officer. Nicely moving to here. Getting ready to hit the tower. unfortunate hurling that at the tower killing that tower death from above and that's a cleanup Moving far enough away from the fire. There's definitely still one more pack. I have it with me now. Looks like one of them came back for more. Okay, Let's cool. Sure to take it out this time. Fire has died down. A confidence approach. Moving to designated position. Di nuovo in partita. Ready to engage. On my way! Heading there now. Come on in. Affirmativo. Come get some. Come on. We need to move away from the fire. I still don't trust uh, this. Blocking uh, the entrance here. Yep. Fire spreading. Let's try to kill the Viper King.
just don't want to stand near to uh, near the fire because it is unreliable it, everything anything could happen good let's get the viper king Ah, let's use Sting nonetheless. Okay, since that's the last pack, might as well do this here. And a solid kill. Cool. Are down and the area is that worked well because we had already injured uh, the Viper King so heavily on our first attempt. It was just basically two shots and he was gone. Cool. Another promotion. Saturation fire is actually quite good. Uh, we're going to go for Whiplash because it is a great ability. Uh, this here would uh, significantly increase our mobility, but it's a dangerous proposition. I like that. Just plain mobility after kill. Please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the Codex Brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Commander. Having successfully recovered one of Dr. Valen's genetically modified test subjects, I am eager to begin conducting an autopsy as soon as possible. It is my hope that by following her own research notes, I will gain an even greater understanding of just how she managed to accomplish these... Good. We're getting another engineer. Um, the game is helping us out. More engineers. Very good. We got plenty of uh, resources, actually. Just the intel is missing. We are victorious, and of course we are. Soon enough, the chosen will be trying to hide from us. We are bound by a common enemy, and together we grow strong. We are ready for more orders, Commander. We only await your choice. Our influence with the good. That will go down to fifteen to days. And we are indeed hunting her. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Very nice. Oh, Blade Storm. So good. GG's. Fabulous. Alright, that's a great Templar. We now got uh, the highest chance to deflect. Uh, we also, on top of it, uh, got parry. And uh, we got blade storm with 100% chance to hit. So that is great. That's just fantastic. All right, sabotage by the chosen has instilled number fear, uh, fear of the chosen on a couple of our soldiers. That sucks. We're starting to remove that. Commander, the alien 
Let's continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. We'll Good. There is another engineer. Will help us in excavating fast. This here is currently pointless. We don't. Uh, we don't need that. Good. If we ca could get more intel, that would be fantastic. Advent has made steady progress in convincing the remaining civilian populace to migrate to their city center. Okay. What else? We could try to gain intel, which I think we should. I have often wondered why the elders would entrust their knowledge within a being so temperamental. Once we get uh, a hold of the other facilities, we should be good. Nice. Intel. Um, that sucks. Intel and unknown dark event. Well, it's maybe not a bad idea. This here is, uh, is not great as well, but let's get the intel because we can then expand faster. Setting course for sector 12, East Africa. And the hidden dark event might be something nasty as well. The other two were were already bad, but all of them are equally not fun. Okay, so Bondmate is having negative um, trade recovery. That doesn't mean we can't take him uh, with us. Equally inappropriate Murphy. bond mate oh on covert action I see okay and let's give Lance here a shot decent team make armor available make weapons available and we're ready to go so I was already working as intended Talon rounds and that and that uh, How about We're taking a mimic beacon here Another mimic beacon there Given that we don't have a Reaper, we're taking Battle Scanners. Look, it sounds like a plan. I think uh, that's a good setup. Alright, landed. Okay, that's the standard L shape with the relay there. Okay. Tell you what, let's see if this is going to be an immediate trigger or not. Sometimes there is a pack here. Okay, there is not. Which means we can aggressively move in. Lance moves up, Stormwalker moves up, Synapse moves up, and Bastard with Death from Above stays up there. Solid position with all of the time in the world due to our side trip. 
only being revealed once Off we're once we're starting. Uh, let's make that a blade storm uh, starter actually. Civilians here, that smells like uh, a faceless one. I see clustered up, perfect for a blade storm starter. Let's get that heavy lancer. There we go. Fabulous. That was a solid kill. Hmm, and now these guys are behind a wall. Don't like it. On my way. Time for us to change the setup a bit. Okay, cool. Uh, let's move up. Timer is starting now. The forces of the occupation. Oh, come on. Really? Another pack there. Interesting. Okay, we don't want to take damage, so since that was not foreseen, let's use the first mimic beacon. Complete shocker. Sun Lancer moves in. And we're safe and secure. Good. Next up, this is a good time. To remove some of the wall and some of uh, the cover here. down but almost is not quite I'm on the move. Uh, 
Mocking this guy. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. All right, lightning hands it is to soften them up. Then a solid kill. Then Overwatch. April calling ourselves. For extra overwatch shots. And we don't want to trigger another pack, so that is well, this is going to be one of uh, the Templar auto pistol kills. Haven't really gotten him uh, to work yet. Now this might trigger one on that. Besser takes the high ground. Lance takes high ground as well. Overwatching. Okay, not bad. Not great either. another pack back here again can't run in all right reloading first And then removing cover and hitting the mutant well enough. Set a uh, setup for the sniper. Oh, stunt, that's very helpful. Down to one. Okay, I see. I see how it is. Nice hit and an immediate kill. 100% for that mutant, which is great. Um, good. I am indeed wondering, should we just go over here to have a better fire angle? and we would be flanking over here. Rolling. Taking the Spectre out, although it's done. And there is another faceless one and there is at least one more pack. Go. 
Good, I tell you what. The faces one will not be able to reach us immediately. Can't get that. Barely blocking the shots, okay. I see. Over watching. Confirmed. Moving closer. Good to go. Overwatch. My watch begins scanning. Does this trigger something? It sure does. It sure does. Good, that takes out one of the mutants. Trying to hit the other one. Good, we're going to place the Mimic Beacon there, which means aid protocol to here for threat assessment and additional damage. Seems doable. Hit the mutant and kill him. Nice. That is not good. Right. That will uh, take its comp some of our overwatches away. But Shadowbound is not the biggest problem. Interesting. Okay, so what we want to do is Get this guy up and running again. This time is a fantastic time for a revival ability. Because that leads into that. Leads into marking the specter. Also nicely damaging it, by the way. That'll allow for a near 100% uh, hit with a sniper. 
Two for one. Shadowbound uh, goes away as well. Move up. Kill that other mutant. Well, how about that? Hair trigger. Kill that. Fantastic. Metis 1-5, we confirm destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. This world is ours. There we go. And Bladestorm will get you. Got it covered. Fate vi sotto. On Overwatch. There we go. A bit strange at the end. That was a beefy pack, two mutants and the spectre, and then coming just from the off angle there. I can't imagine the aliens are too happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. Another impressive effort, Commander. Resistance informant. Uh, not sure that I think that was. Um, yeah, no, I. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Not from the top of my head. Elden Alloy Centellarium Crystals. Fantastic. With that, we will be able to very soon upgrade all of our weapons. Good, plenty of upgrades here. Mutant autopsy uh, means immediate advanced uh, grenade launchers and plasma grenades, which are helpful. Pod armor, not bad. Beam cannons, not bad. Storm gun, not bad. But let's get alien encryption so that we can uh, build uh, the shadow chamber. Upgrading a couple of weapons, that's what, what you can do. Let's start here. Shadow Keeper is good. And... Yeah, we need more Elarium. Okay. Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had a strategic resource. There we go. That was so helpful. Game is giving us what we need, and we are upgrading that, and we're just requiring a little bit more supplies, but if you look at it three more days and we can do all of the other upgrades which kind of begs the question uh, why would we not do this with our new intel now get integrated warfare great and there is just a little bit too little intel but we're soon going to get all of this here. I think we're going to go for India next because the Berserker Queen is there. Um, yeah, that, that's going to be a good compromise. We have plenty of alloys, I don't need more. Which means in case of doubt, let's get some more intel so we can expand. Nice 900 income, almost. Perfect. 
that's exactly what I was looking for 106 into uh, that is almost two territories orders, commander. that is almost two territories uh, in terms of soldiers prime team is unavailable more or less but I think the secondary team can take that of course another reaper would be nice just to lead uh, the action there maybe once this is all over we should take this ship and let's see if this here will trigger the end of uh, the covert act uh, ops mission and with that also the reaper no longer being on it I think that is not the case, so we need to come up with a different team for this mission. Fair enough. Uh, that brings us to the end of today's episode. I think we did uh, very well overall, almost at plasma, uh, so the campaign is progressing very, very nicely. Uh, we're not even in October, and we almost got all of the important research done. Work is well underway. Plasma grenades would be the next one that I would upgrade with another core uh, simply because it's better cover removal so yeah that that's the next big upgrade and I think overall we're good for today thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the content leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye